stay inside so that you don't get killed from animals. And the body works like that. And in, in the northern part of the world, where we don't have uh, any sun, the, the production is, is going on, on all the time and, and it affects us. Agneta, this is incredible. Thank you so much for being with us this morning all the way from Sweden. I mean, 0.77 hours of daylight a day. That's it. That's all wow. you've got. And wow. so they're harvesting that light. They're trapping yeah. it. And then they're re-releasing and giving it back to students whenever they're in their darkest days to help fight some of that winter fatigue. That'd be tough. That'd be really tough to deal with. You know, thankfully, though, we've got plenty of sunlight. And our ray of sunlight yes. is Carl Parker. And he happens <laughs> to be right now in the, he's a storm specialist. He's in the lab. Carl, can you give us a little bit of a heads up on our winter weather update? I sure can. And we want to take you outside and uh, show you what it looks like right now in Georgetown, which is not all that far away from Denver. Beautiful scene here as the snow is coming down in earnest in these early morning hours. Uh, it's going to be a lovely day today if you're into that type of thing. Certainly does look like the season. And let's show you the radar picture and where that is exactly. It's off to the west of Denver. There's Georgetown right there along I-70. And this is, of course, as you're getting up in elevation and that elevation actually enhances the potential for snow. So while we may get several inches in the higher elevation, elevations. We're probably only going to see a one or two inches there in Denver. And there's actually a pretty good bit of snow across the state right now. You can't see all of it because the radar beams can't shoot through the highest elevations of the mountains. But a lot of locations now reporting moderate snow, even some heavy snow at Berthard Pass. And so this is going to be a pretty good bit of snow for the resorts there. We've got more of the same now in northern parts of New Mexico. So we'll take you uh, through the next several hours and into tomorrow. Watch that snow continue to come down in the Rockies, a bit of it in Denver once again, the heavier snow coming out and north of 70 and then up towards 80 in western Nebraska late tonight. It will move up towards 90 as well, then get across 29 and eventually make its way into western Minnesota. That's going to be later tomorrow, not quite into the Twin Cities until very late tomorrow, and we're not thinking a whole lot of snow there in the Twin Cities. So there's the forecast and a pretty decent area of a few inches and then within that little area of several, and that is generally going to be north of 80 and uh, south of 90. Now, here is a look at the next storm coming into the west. This is the water vapor picture. We'll take a look at the model forecast for the mid-level energy. That's going to crash into California going into Tuesday, so another big burst of snow for the mountains there. Great news for the drought there. Back to you. Thanks so much, Carl. Okay, so we're talking about damaging winds, hail, yep. and possibly even some tornadoes. Yeah, it's going to be a busy day. A severe storm starting in the heartland. We've got tens of thousands of, of you, our friends, that could be at risk. We're going to let you know who's the crosshairs coming up. Yeah, and we've got another round of storms in store for California. We're going to tell you how you can brace for the next round. Currently in our area, 56 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, sunny, high 75. Winds north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear, low 52, winds light and variable. Monday, sunshine, high 76, winds north-northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. And the top of the roof, all that stuff that's flying in the video came from off of there. This morning, we're hearing from the man who captured this rare and scary sight in Los Angeles, a tornado. And as people clear out the debris, they are facing a new threat of storms tonight. And that storm now is dumping snow here across the four corners, including here in Georgetown, Colorado. It is dumping snow just in time for their annual Christmas market. We'll talk about what's going on here today, coming up in a live report.
same system could spawn something else. We're talking thunderstorms, hail, gusty winds, even the possibility of tornadoes. A look at the severe weather headed for Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas today. Plus, who will see the storms next? All right, guys, tip the cups and pet the pups. Good morning and welcome to Weather Center Live. It is Sunday, December 14th. I'm Reynolds Wolf. And I'm Kate Parker. I hope that you have your fuzzy robes and fuzzy slippers Absolutely. on and your warm cup of coffee. We mm -hmm. have somewhere in our second pot this morning. Can you tell? Oh, yeah. yeah, the meteorology world is a buzz. We're not just talking about ourselves on yep. caffeine this morning. It's trending on Twitter because of this hashtag. It's pretty interesting. Okay, what we've done is we've taken, with the help of some of our fellow meteorologists, we've come up with clever ways to change movie titles by adding in weather terms, and we've got some weird examples. Yeah, it's called hashtag meteorological films. Okay, this was my favorite yeah. one. I think, oh gosh, I, I, you know, it's tied for my favorites this morning, but I really like this one, the Hurry Potter. The yeah. HRR, the H R R R, uh, is a computer model that we like to use uh, to come model out what's going absolutely. on with the weather. So I love that one because uh, Harry Potter is my favorite. My <laughs> cup runneth over with nerdiness, especially <laughs> when I like this one, Citizen Rain. That is fantastic. Yeah, I mean, you really, take really a classic, good. the classic yeah, movie. Yeah, exactly. And then we go out to Goodlow Hunting. I'm sorry, it's one of my favorites this morning, too. These are so good. And you can join <laughs> in the fun. We want to hear your meteorological films. Go to hashtag meteorological films. Tweet it at us. We want to we wanna see that. Let's reverse that from Goodlow Hunting to Hunting for Goodlow. And, and this time, you know. We found them. Yeah, we're, we're not hunting like Elmer Fudd. We've got a bee on the man himself. He happens to be in Georgetown, Colorado, where they may deal with up to six inches of snow before this evening. Yeah, definitely. We're talking about light, fluffy powder, which is uh, great news for the skiers and snowboarders. I mean, this is the horrible type of snowball make. You can't make it make snowballs out of that because it is just a fine, light snow, which is what they need here. I mean, big old fat flakes are coming down here. I mean, all the trees are flocked with snow. The street easily has an inch or two here. So finally looking like Christmas here. But take a look at how this place looked yesterday when temperatures were in the 50s. Again, this is the 54th annual Georgetown Christmas Market. We're talking about they got tons of vendors out here. There's uh, people selling food and hot chocolate. There's great activities for kids. There are carolers out here. They have horse-drawn uh, uh, wagon rides here, perhaps today using the sleigh because of the snow here. And you would think that this would be the best thing for this market, having the snow come down. But actually, like most places around the country, some people don't actually like to drive in this snow. Take a listen. As long as the highway is open and CDOT does a good job of keeping it clear, uh, it just adds to the environment, the Christmas feel. We hope that everybody comes up and enjoys the snow uh, for the Christmas market. And we're right next to Interstate 70. I, you can hear the plows going back and forth. We're keeping the roads uh, definitely open. Again, once you go through the tunnel, again, we're east of the divide, closer to Denver than the ski resorts. You, you get, got a lot more snow over there. In fact, a lot of people are be heading there with this snow. But this is a great place to stop. It's about halfway between here and ski country to enjoy some of the taste of Christmas here in Georgetown, Colorado. Guys? All right, Paul, thanks so much. Man, that stuff looks absolutely beautiful. Now, the question is, are we going to deal with more snowfall? And if we are, how much will we experience? Well, Kate's got some answers. Yeah, I do. And here's the good news with all this. The snow that Paul is seeing, it is snow. It is not ice. As you go a little farther south, we are seeing a little bit of that mixture as it transitions. But for the most part, we're seeing snow. And that's what we like to see for travel. That's good news. Also good news is that Denver's quite in, in quite a snow deficit. Usually by the time we get to the end of December, we've seen over 21 inches of snow. So far this entire season, we've only seen four inches of snow. And this this is the first snow. Now, we haven't seen it quite yet, but this would be the first snow this month in Denver. So we need the snow. I know that folks are kind of looking for it in that area, and the good news is that it is falling. And here's what we've got going on. Notice in the lower elevations, as soon as you head out here on the plains, that's where you have the rain. As soon as you head up into the mountains, though, along I-70, that's where you transition into snow. We're getting a lot of it through the resorts. So if you're trying to head out, maybe do some skiing today or planning for next weekend, it looks really great. This low is the culprit. The same culprit that brought all that crazy weather to California. Now it's uh, bringing that cold air out of Canada and we are seeing that transition into more of a winter storm plowing across the country. In fact, look at the snow today expected from Grand Junction to Denver all the way up to, Can uh, to Casper and then tonight that pushes farther off to the east and we can continue to track it that direction. Reynolds? Kate, listen to this. What is 
is that noise? What is that? I mean, you hear raindrops, but there's something else. Is that is that is that hail? Hail, yes, it certainly is. He's been pounding Cave Creek, Arizona last night, and the dog did not seem fettered by it at all. Going out there doing the doggy things that dogs do, you know, that's better than doing some of those things indoors. We all know that much. All right, let's talk about what we're going to be dealing with in parts of uh, not only places like Arizona, but eventually what's going to move into the Southern Plains. This is one of those days you have to be really careful, keep an eye on the skies, because what we're going to be seeing setting up atmospherically could be pretty treacherous. We've got this area of low pressure. We've got the trough that's going to drive its way towards the east. It's going to interact with that moisture flow that's coming in from south to north. And where it all comes together is going to create a pretty unstable situation. Scattered showers and storms north of Amarillo, east of Lubbock, moving across places like Shamrock, Texas, and eventually from Shamrock clear up into places like Oklahoma City. Clouds are going to be there. The rain's going to follow. And and then possibly the peel of thunder could have some hail that we're dealing with. Straight line winds. Same time, can't rule out the chance of tornadoes. Into motion we go, and vavoom, the boundary just sweeps right through Wichita and into Oklahoma. Drier air later on as we get to the evening hours, but still, it's going to be that chance of severe storms, a threat of tornadic activity. You cannot rule that out on a day like today. Be ready for it. Where you see orange, good chance of strong storms. Where you see the reddish color, the darker orange, from Wichita to Oklahoma City to Dallas, a better chance of those strong storms. We've got more to share with you. Stick around. Toenail fungus? Don't hide it, fight it with new FDA-approved Jublia. Jublia, the fenaconazole 10% topical solution, is a prescription medicine proven to treat fungal infections of the toenails. Use Jublia as instructed by your doctor. Most common side effects include ingrown toenail, application site redness, itching, swelling, burning or stinging, blisters, and pain. Fight it! Ask your doctor now if new Jublia is right for you. Grandpa Bodie, Grandma said you used to be out of control. Really? I guess I did take some risks. I trained a little bit differently. I was a little too honest sometimes. The media is useless. You were out of control. But not always. Perfect for Grandpa. Oh, Dad is going to love this. And Aunt Susie sure can use these. WeatherTech floor liners make the perfect holiday gift for everyone on your list. WeatherTech floor liners are laser measured to custom fit and protect your specific make and model. Check out all of our automotive accessories at WeatherTech.com or call 1-800-CARMATS. Complete protection, completely American made. WeatherTech.com. Happy holidays from WeatherTech. Tonight. Buried treasure, here we come. There's new miners on the mountain. We're about to be digging on top of the world. But will their big gamble? They call it dead man's curve. My heart is pounding right now. Be a huge bust. This is an extreme situation. Prospectors, new episode tonight at 9 on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 56 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, plentiful sunshine, high 75. Winds north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear, low 52. Winds light and variable. Monday, generally sunny, high 76. Winds north-northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Look at this! Listen to that! See this winter like never before. Amazing starts here. The Weather Channel Mornings. I typed my name. And Ancestry opened the door to the world's largest online collection of family history records. Discover your story today at Ancestry.com. Break the ice with 
breath freshening cooling crystals. Icebreakers. The clock is ticking, so let's grab the list and go to town. You don't need a lot of this to make someone feel like that, especially if you give them one of these. Holiday to-dos? Let's get them done today at the one place that can help us bring it all home. That's how to holiday. Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Right now, save 50 bucks on this Husky Mechanics tool set. Guaranteed forever. Give the gift of confidence this holiday season. For four days only at Men's Warehouse, get 100% cashmere sweaters for $89.99, non-iron dress shirts for $34.99, plus buy one tie, get two free. Confidence sold here, only at Men's Warehouse. What a wild week of weather in California. Yep. Flooding rains, fierce winds, mudslides, a rare tornado, or the locusts next? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's been crazy. It's, it's like going to a bingo hall and you, have, you know the thing that shakes around has all the bingo balls and you, you they spill out. It's crazy like that. Yeah, it is but crazy like that. Uh, weather, uh, crazy stuff. All right, uh, we've got Dave Malkoff. He joins us via Skype from Southern California. Dave, one of the big items we've been dealing with is that tornado really caught a lot of people by surprise. It's incredible. Everyone was ready for the rain. They were, Maybe someone has an earthquake kit down in their basement. But when you talk about tornadoes here in Southern California, it's not really in anyone's vocabulary. Oh. This is the day of the storm. And this is the day after. The ice cream man doesn't normally have to dodge tornado debris in South Los Angeles. This is the tree still in my driveway. I can't even get out. Jamie Mayna recorded that video you've most likely already seen on Facebook. Oh. This is his story. It spun up behind the pictures. Hey. The wind kept hitting my hand. That's why my hand kept twisting like that in the video. The tornado, a confirmed EF0, sent this stroller flying. Empty, thank goodness. It busted windows. Out of all of them, out of all of them. Mine is the only one that got hit. And cracked a big tree limb right onto Jamie's truck. What's crazy though, man, I usually park right here. That's where I live right there, in the top of the roof. All that stuff that's flying in the video came from off of there. I mean, we in LA. I never thought that there would be no tornado out here. Don't let this EF0 rating fool you. This tornado was powerful enough to twist the big metal billboard back there. But it's extremely rare. If you talk to National Weather Service, they say the last one they can remember was January 2010, and that was technically a water spout that came off the ocean. And before that, you got to go way back to the early 80s when a low-level tornado hit in downtown Los Angeles. This one will also go down in the record books along with Jamie's video. Oh. The words I was using was just a natural, natural reaction for me. And a few choice words. It, it, it was the heat of the moment, basically. You know, I just, it just came out like that. Oh. Who can blame it? Oh. Now, fortunately, fortunately there, nobody was hurt. But with the rains coming, Reynolds, later on this week, uh, like Monday afternoon, people are quick to put those blue tarps on their roofs because, as you can see, they lost a few roofs in that neighborhood. Absolutely. And the issue is you're really not going to have a great deal of time to fix things up before the next round comes through. No. Oh, Dave, no, thanks, really thanks so much for that report. Let me tell you, the report that we have for you is that places like from Hollywood clear up to, uh, say, Crescent City, you're going to be dealing with the scattered showers, the storms, and in the high Sierra, you're going to be dealing with some snowfall. But rain is going to be one of the big issues. In fact, you take a look at what we've had since December 1st, 7.62 inches of rainfall. City average is about 4.3 for the month, so we're nearly doubling that. And then as we take a look at this, wow. If, if this was, was Chuck Norris, it would be about to give a roundhouse kick to the face to California. Because take a look at this. It's going to roar its way off towards the east, the trough, the area of low pressure, and all the moisture in the world from the Pacific will come together to give you a very rainy scenario. The valleys, the hillsides, the coastal range, all the way up into the Sierra, you're going to see that rain just soaking again. Many places that have already been inundated with plenty of water, so mudslides, rock slides, all could be an issue for you. The issue that we're going to see for later today and into tomorrow, will be the raindrops coming along places like, say, uh, Half Moon Bay to San Francisco, clear down to uh, San Luis Obispo, Morro Bay. 
maybe even down to Bakersfield and into the parts of the valleys. We're talking top to bottom in the San Joaquin. And then when you get to high elevation, Kate, we're talking about snow. Let's get it back to you. Well, he's talking about snow. The first official day of winter is actually still a week away. But some folks continue to get that early taste of it. Coming up in your winter weather update, we're going to break down who gets this next round of snow, how much they're going to get, and how long it plans on sticking around. Plus, we've got a weekend event for you. Some actually lots of weekend events. There's the snow falling in Georgetown. When you feel good, no one is immune. With antioxidants, electrolytes, and B vitamins, plus more vitamin C than 10 oranges, Emergency transforms more than just water. Emergency, let your awesome out. Why do I take Metamucil every day? Because it helps me skip the bad stuff. I'm good. That's what I like to call the meta effect. Four in one multi health Metamucil, now clinically proven to help you feel less hungry between meals. Experience the meta effect with our new multi health wellness line. Now, Walmart is your go to place for all things Lego, all at unbeatable prices. They've got Lego Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sets, Lego Friends, and this unbelievably cool Emmett's Constructo Mech from the Lego movie. Check out the Lego minifigure I just made, Action Anthony. What's his superpower? Being breathtakingly handsome. She don't know what pretty is. Save $25 when you open a Walmart credit card account and spend $75 today. Then get another $10 when you make another $75 purchase. Walmart. Lowe's presents How to Sing a Duet. Bells, bells, all the way. Give the gift of portable power this season with InstaBoost. Now only $79 at Lowe's. From restoring damage in just one room to an entire building. Turn to the cleanup team that's here in your community and here to help at 1-800-SERVE-PRO like it never even happened. I have a cold <coughs> with terrible chest congestion. Better take something. Theraflu Severe Cold doesn't treat chest congestion. Really? New Alka-Seltzer Plus Day Powder rushes relief to your worst cold symptoms plus chest congestion. Oh, what a relief it is. Here we go! From I wonder what it is to you'll never guess. Everything from L.L. Bean is backed by the same rock-solid guarantee. So while they keep guessing, you know that we'll take it back or replace it. L.L. Bean. Guaranteed to please. Say hello to the new weather.com. A beautiful new design with weather as the main story. The information you need, the site you rely on, the brand you trust. Over 200,000 people are hospitalized every year with flu complications. So to kill the germs that may make your family sick, we recommend using Lysol disinfectant spray every day. Lysol is approved to kill 80 germs, including hard to kill viruses that can live on surfaces for over four weeks. It works on hard and soft surfaces to help stop the spread of bacteria. So help keep your family healthy with Lysol. It's your old bestie, Jem. Remember how you loved getting me as a holiday gift? Well, you can be that truly outrageously happy again with a new Honda Civic during Happy Honda Days. It comes with a rear view camera and Pandora compatibility. Care to dance? Whoa, <laughs> at ease, soldier. <laughs> your loss. Get something you'll love at the Happy Honda Days sales event, where all 2015 models come standard with a rear view camera. Call 1-800-715-9495. Call now. Tonight at 9. Get down now! Prospectors, the Million Dollar Mountain. Tonight at 9 on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 56 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, plentiful sunshine, high 75, winds north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear, low 52, winds light and variable. Monday, generally sunny, high 76, winds north-northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. You're looking 
at a live shot of Georgetown, Colorado, and it looks like a winter wonderland. Which is why we have this beautiful ah. wonderland music behind yeah, us. Yeah, absolutely. I just want to speak softly. Well, we I should. want some hot cocoa. Where are it, my marshmallows? It's wonderful, these, these precious moments <laughs> of life. You know, everyone's wondering who is going to get a white Christmas this year, and we've actually narrowed it down to not three, not six, not four, but five. five and we six. want you to vote. Yes. We want you to let us know who you think will get a white Christmas. Go to weather.com slash white Christmas. Vote in our online poll. Will it be Chicago? No! Buffalo! Perhaps! Philadelphia! It could be! Omaha! You know, I don't know. For some reason, I'm thinking Omaha or maybe Little Rock that might take the snowfall crown this year, and we want to see your videos while you're at it. Yeah, so what you need to do? Oh, it's super easy. You can just text us your videos. Go text My White Christmas to 99000. You'll be directed on how to upload the video, which is awesome. Yeah, it sounds simple. It sounds like it'd be so easy that a Reynolds could do it. Oh, I think a Reynolds could do it. A Reynolds rap could even That's right. do it. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, we're going to wrap it up and send it over to Carl Parker, who has no problems with that. And Carl, no problems at all with those weather forecasts. I know we got some interesting scenario shaping up now. Yeah, you guys are talking about a white Christmas and some of the modeling is telling us that there might be a lot of cold air in place in the eastern two-thirds of the country, a little more than we have seen in recent weeks. And if that were to be the case, then that would obviously make it easier for there to be significant winter weather. So stay tuned on that. We'll continue to follow that forecast. Right now, the snow is coming down in central Colorado. There is a look at Georgetown. We've been talking to Paul Goodlow, and snow's still falling there. It's now west of Denver for the most part. You can see how the elevation changes really dramatically as you go out west of the Mile High City and along I-70 there, and it's in those foothills in the Rockies where we're getting most of the snow. We're seeing a pretty good bit of it across a lot of Colorado right now. You don't get the full picture out here because of the elevated, elevated terrain, but we are getting moderate and in some cases heavy snow in central parts of Colorado, so good news for the uh, skiers out there. And more snow now dropping down into beautiful Santa Fe and even a little bit uh, showing up here around the Sandias in Albuquerque. So let's talk about the model forecast and we'll continue to see that snow flying in Colorado through later today. The heavier snow as low pressure is developing east of the Rockies is going to be right in there. Northeast Colorado and across I-80 and into Nebraska. Not a lot in Denver. It's probably going to be one or two inches at the most, maybe a little bit more than that. And then we'll watch the system come out and into the northern plains. This is during the day on Monday. So Monday 1 p.m., Notice a little area of some mixed precipitation. Then you've got snow back and across 90. Wet weather in the Twin Cities. That'll be the case for most of the day. And then on the very back end of that system, just a little bit of snow there along 35 and in the Twin Cities. And again, just a little tiny bit of a mix. So here's a look at the snowfall forecast. And we're talking about a pretty sizable area of 5 to 8 inches there across a lot of the central plains. Now I want to show you one of the tools that we we'll use to determine what type of precipitation we're going to get. This is the European model. And so we're looking for the surface freezing line, but we're also looking for the freezing line at about a 5,000 feet up in the atmosphere. So there is that freezing line that's at about 5,000 feet. There's the surface freezing line. We're getting rain right in between there. So slightly warmer air is coming over top of that cold air at the surface. And that is where we might get just a little bit of a mix. Reynolds, back to you. Well, for folks who want to sit tight, Carl, they might want to stay tuned to this, a one-hour special of Weather Geeks today, where Dr. Marshall Shepard sits down with science heavyweight Dr. John Holdren, the White mm -hmm. House science advisor. Yeah, during Shepard's interview with Holdren, he asked how and when did the topic of climate change become so political. At the end of the 90s, it was apparent that then Vice President Al Gore was going to be the Democratic candidate. And I think there was a feeling among many Republicans that climate change was Al Gore's issue, so they yes. needed to be against it. That produced a further polarization sure. uh, in which Republicans who had previously embraced the reality of climate change and talked in sensible ways about solutions backed away from it because they had decided it was a democratic issue, which of course it shouldn't be. And you can catch the entire interview with Holdren along with legendary conservationist Dr. Jane Goodall in a one hour special today at noon Eastern on Weather Geeks. Okay, so we're sitting in the dark and yep. why is that? Well, okay, it's because there's an entire town of people who during the winter only get about an hour of natural sunlight a day, and that's about to change. Yeah, something's being done to bring the light back to this town in Sweden. We're taking you there next. To the light we go! We need to go.
This program brought to you by the Lexus December to Remember sales event is here now through January 5th. The holidays go high tech with Holidays in Space at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Join us for an out of this world take on the sights and sounds of the holiday season now through January 4th. Visit tourksc.com for details. <laughs> Then all the parts come together, and there it is, our new car. So that's how Santa fits it in a sleigh. Wow. The magic of the season is here at the Lexus December to Remember sales event. This is the pursuit of perfection. Did you get the chips for the party? Nope. Cheese plate? Cheese plate. No. I made something better. You use the oven? Boom. Pillsbury Crescents. Make the holidays pop. It's only for a couple of nights, okay? Yep. Yeah. Baby? Um, for me? Oh. She'll love it. Thanks. My job is so hard on my hands. The cracks were the worst part. O'Keefe's working hands. Guaranteed relief for dry hands that crack and split. There was a difference within just minutes of it absorbing into my skin. Only O'Keefe's has given me the relief that I need. Learn more at workinghands.com. Introducing Dance All You Want Bladder Leak Protection. New always discreet underwear for sensitive bladders. From Always, the experts in feminine protection. New always discreet underwear absorbs heavy bladder leaks faster than the leading brand so you can feel comfortably dry. Plus, Always Discreet has a discreet fit that hugs your curves. You barely feel it. New Always Discreet underwear. Now bladder leaks can feel like no big deal because, hey, pee happens. Visit alwaysdiscreet.com for coupons and to learn more. From residential to commercial, from large loss to emergency response, whenever damage strikes, call on the cleanup team that's faster to any size disaster at 1-800-SERVE-PRO like it never even happened. While we may never know exactly what the weather has in store, one thing we do know is how to be ready for it. Rain-X wiper blades clear the windshield of rain, sleet, and snow without streaking, giving you the confidence to weather any kind of weather. Rain-X premium wiper blades, available at these fine retailers. What do astronauts eat? Have lunch with one and find out. Only at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Meet real astronauts, see space shuttle Atlantis, and experience firsthand the future of America's space exploration. We are but a small part in something far greater. Essential to this mission. Essential to humanity. Ascension is a lifeboat for humanity. Ascension, a three-night event, premieres tomorrow at 9 on Sci-Fi. Currently in our area, 56 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, plentiful sunshine. High 75. Winds north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear. Low 52. Winds light and variable. Monday, generally sunny. High 76. Winds north northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Sunday, the titans of weather bring the rain. Geek out Sundays at noon on the Weather Channel. Don't even bother knocking.
shocking. Just come on in. The door's open. Welcome back to Weather Center Live. I'm Reynolds Wolf. And I'm Kate Parker. Welcome to our world of weirdness where we're getting down on the commercial breaks with this Twitter yes. hashtag that has blown up. Now that you guys, I think apparently everybody just woke up and had their coffee. Yeah. Because it is blowing up out there. It's hashtag pretty crazy. meteorological films. Should we explain it to them? Basically what we're doing is we get our fellow meteorologists who are having fun with movie tiles, titles. And what they do is they take out part of the title and throw in a meteorological term. So uh, you can really find out who the nerds on your timeline are this morning. Yep. Well, us being a couple of them. Yeah. My personal favorite of the morning, I'm pretty sure, the I mean, Blizzard of Oz. I think it's a good one. The Blizzard yeah. of Oz. It's a good one. Yeah, and one, one that we heard this morning from someone who's a heck of a lot smarter than I am, who's here in the studio with us, he said Rain Man. That kind of writes itself. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, know you didn't I mean? even have to change that one. But there's some it's good perfect. ones. I mean, you've got Reynolds Wolf of Wall Street. you got I Wicker Park, Kate Parker, and, and how about these other two? Jurassic, Carl Parker, yep. Paul Goodlow hunting. And you know what else I love? Bring it. Finding El Nino. That is good. Oh, yeah, so like good. Yeah. Okay, so we've got some really good ones out there. Oh, the Thunder Games. That was another Thunder Games one. is a winner. It certainly is. From thunder to snow. That's what this storm did uh, the, that wreaked havoc in California last week. Yeah, it really has made quite a transformation. Drum, doing some rain drops. But now we're talking about snow, especially in Georgetown, Colorado, where, let's see, they're in their second weekend of the 54th annual Christmas market. That's where our Paul Goodlow is, and it really has started to come down there. And this is a part of this uh, storm that really hit the West. Again, yeah, I was tracking the storm in California, in Northern California with the rain, Southern California with the rain and the mudslides. And now here in Colorado, we're getting the snowy side of this. And this is what this area needs is snow for the skiers and the snowboarders also for the water resources as well. And even this town of, of Georgetown, they get quite a bit of snow every year, but they haven't had a whole lot up until right now. I've been here uh, since about four o'clock in the morning and local time, and we've easily picked up maybe two going on three inches of snow. It's, it's snowing almost an inch an hour, maybe half to a three quarters of an inch an hour. It is really dumping out here. And you would think with their annual Christmas market going on that this would be the perfect weather for it, right? Well, not so fast. Take a listen to this. This is definitely a weather dependent event. It's bad. It's not the best. But interestingly enough, it depends on what's snowing down the hill. If the weather in Denver is crappy, they won't come up, even if it's beautiful up here, because they don't want to drive. Nonetheless, well, I guess we're in the side. And again, uh, you can see some of the scenes were shot from yesterday, and the temperatures here were in the 50s. There was no snow out here, and there was more than a thousand people that came to the Christmas market. And even though there's snow here, there will be some snow in Denver, but not nearly as much as you head west of here, up the divide, and in the ski country. Great news for the skiers and snowboarders. But overall, I mean, you would think this looks for a greatest, the perfect postcard for your, your holidays. In fact, a little hint for your families that are waking up this morning. If you haven't taken that holiday photo of the family to send out in Christmas cards, this would be a great place to do it as this market opens 10 o'clock local time. Guys? Brilliant. Love that. Great time to take a holiday picture, Paul. And you said, I guess we're in the SOT. What, what were you talking about there? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> we, we were talking about, we are listening to the sound on tape. That's what it means, folks. A little behind the scenes for you. Paul, you look great. Sometimes a bug does tend to bite you from time to time. <laughs> it does. And I'll tell it's you. It's tough out there. It certainly right, is. And you know, I got to tell you, Kate, we're getting getting the bite from some of this rough weather. We talked about some of the snowfall that you're going to get. It's all from that California storm that's driving its way towards the east. Rain in the valleys. Higher up you go, though, in the mountains, it's going to interact with that cold air loft, and you're going to get the snow. From Denver to Pueblo, it is the precipitation coming down. The front range getting in on some of the snow action high up into parts of 70. When you go to the Eisenhower Tunnel on both sides, the tunnel snowflakes are going to be coming down. Take it easy up there, folks. When you get to lower elevations, we're talking about rain, but high up. Above. We're dealing with the cold air that's coming in from the north. The upper level low is going to be really the engine. And here comes the moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. Where all this comes together, and by the afternoon, we have a chance of dealing with some strong storms that could erupt across parts of the central plains. But back into the mountains, it's going to be snow biz for you from Casper to Grand Junction, even into Denver. Denver's not going to get a great deal of snowfall, a few inches here or there. But we're going to see it extend and become a bit more prevalent in places like Nebraska, perhaps even South Dakota. The wintry mix extends all the way into the UP of Michigan as we get into Monday and Monday night over parts of Lake Superior and certainly could see a bit of it in Minneapolis. Let's talk about those totals, the high spots where you're going to see the lavender colors and there you go. Take a look. Anywhere from five to eight inches of snowfall south of Rapid City, north of North Platte, 
Goodman getting some decent snowfall, good in Goodland. Anywhere from a few inches, Denver, I'd say one to two points north and up towards Casper. You might get a bit more Tetons also getting in on that snow action. All right, Kate, let's send it right back over to you. Hey, Reynolds, you know, if you're trying to get in some of that last minute holiday shopping in Norman, Oklahoma, I would say now's the time to go. I know stores open a little later on Sundays, but if you can squeeze it in this morning, good time to go because here at the University of Oklahoma, also the side of the Storm Prediction Center, we have storms in the forecast. Let's get right to this forecast and show you what we've got working across the Southern Plains because this system that is uh, plowing its way through the Rockies right now, already made its way through the West Coast. It just keeps on keeping on out toward the east. And that's where we're going to see all this moisture flow in. And then this system gives it lift. So this low and along the cold front is where we're really going to be watching for some of these thunderstorms to develop. Now, it starts kind of in the panhandle. It did earlier this morning. As we get later into the morning hours, you're going to notice the warm side of the system. You see the snow back here. Uh, it, we have the warm side. That's where we have the risk of the stronger storms. And so what's going to happen? Abilene, Oklahoma City, Wichita, you're kind of up first. Then Dallas by dinner time tonight. That's when you could see some thunderstorms that could contain damaging winds, potentially some hail, and maybe an isolated tornado. Through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning, that's when we see that push into places like Missouri, across Arkansas, down into places like Texarkana and Shreveport. You could see a couple of those thunderstorms. And then we'll watch it exit out into uh, Illinois as we head into your Monday morning commute. So a little trouble there for you. Here's the risk for severe weather today. It's focused from southern Kansas to north central Texas. And this, again, the risk that we're expecting or could potentially see going to be uh, the risk for damaging winds and uh, hail, intense lightning, 1 to 5 p.m. here in the DFW Metroplex from Plano all the way to Garland all the way to Arlington, that's where you have that risk. Going up I-35 to Ardmore, you have the risk as well into Oklahoma City, 12 to 3 p.m., a Torcon of three there. Reynolds? Goodness, Kate, well, weather's certainly gonna play a part in many people's days, but will weather play a role in today's NFL matchups? I don't know, in this one, you're gonna have some cloud cover in Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Kickoff's at 1 p.m., you see the teams here, the Raiders of Oakland, and they've got a 2-11 record taking on the Kansas City Chiefs, 7-6. and six. Other numbers, take a look at these. You've got wind that'll be fairly strong and temperatures mainly into the 50s. Up we go to Ford Field. It is inside, climate-controlled in Ford Field. However, you do have quite a few tailgaters that go out there, maybe hit up Greek Town. You've got the cloudy skies and temperatures into the 40s inside the dome. Nice and comfortable. Life slight winds, though. We like to see that. It yeah. doesn't really matter for the game, but for tailgaters, it's pretty important. Nothing worse than eating a hot dog and having the hot dog get knocked out of your hand by strong winds. I know. There's nothing worse. A hot Every dog day. travesty. That's <laughs> what that would be. All right. Let's talk about Seattle because you've got the Seahawks versus the 49ers yep. today. Okay. 50 degrees and sunny. That sounds incredibly nice. But if you look at those winds out of the east, they're under 10 miles an hour shouldn't be too much trouble yeah good things and, you know we're bringing you some of the best things on that are true that are trending on twitter this morning <laughs> in fact take a look at this hashtag meteorological films where people are taking movie titles and they're putting a weather spin on them check out some of our favorites the wow. polar vortex express wow a I sweet storm named desire that's a good one <laughs> that's too. a really good one wow. a beautiful millibar how about that yeah you, you've got hail that's that's respectable <laughs> that's not bad Tom Hanks would like that one exactly okay we want to know if you can top some of these tweets you can tweet at us uh, at weather kate and at reynolds bull good job Currently in our area, 59 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, plentiful sunshine, high 75. Winds north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear, low 52, winds light and variable. Monday, generally sunny, high 76, winds north-northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook.
What's the key to great first impressions? Confidence and the perfect suit. This week at Men's Warehouse, get select suits for $199.99. Plus, buy one, get one free on almost everything else in the store. Confidence suits you only at Men's Warehouse. Where we go is who we are. And fuels from Exxon and Mobil help your engine run smoother, cleaner, and with better fuel economy. We are energy, and energy lives here. You got the bargain kind. You would need, like, a bunch of those to clean this mess. Then I'll use a bunch of them. What are you doing? Dish issues? Get Cascade Complete. One pack cleans better than six packs of the bargain brand combined. Cascade, now that's clean. I thought it would be fun, so I went on Ancestry.com, and this little leaf gave me a hint, and that led me to another leaf and another hint. I was like the family detective. Then I found out that one of my ancestors actually was a detective. So I'm like the other family detective. Visit Ancestry.com and discover the world's largest online family history resource. You don't have to know what you're looking for. You just have to start looking. Your discovery starts right now on Ancestry.com. The clock is ticking, so let's grab the list and go to town. You don't need a lot of this to make someone feel like that, especially if you give them one of these. Holiday to-dos? Let's get them done today at the one place that can help us bring it all home. That's how to holiday. Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Your choice of these compressor combo kits. Just 199 bucks. I am never getting married. Never. Guaranteed. You picked a beautiful ring. Thank you. We're never having kids. Ah! I love it here. We are never moving to the suburbs. We are never getting one of those. We are never having another kid. I'm pregnant. I'm never letting go. For all the nevers in life, State Farm is there. Nourished. Rescued. Protected. Given new hope. During the Subaru Share the Love event, Subaru owners feel it too. Because when you take home a new Subaru, we donate $250 to helping those in need. We'll have given $50 million over seven years. Love. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Omega-3s are one of the essential nutrients to support your heart health. But even with a healthy diet rich in Omega-3s, many people don't get enough. That's why I recommend Omega-3 supplements to support your heart health. Mega Red is an omega-3 supplement recognized by the Hope Heart Institute. Research shows omega-3s may reduce the risk of coronary heart disease. The omega-3s in Mega Red are easily absorbed by the body, and it's just one small pill a day. Support your heart health with Mega Red. Attention corn farmers. Corn prices have plummeted and sales are down as a result of China's ban on U.S. corn and corn products. Syngenta introduced a GMO corn strain that may have contaminated the U.S. corn supply and hurt you or your business. If you've suffered economic impact as the price of U.S. corn has decreased, you may be able to recover your losses. Call Sokolov Law at 1-800-839-4141 for a free legal consultation. Again, that's 1-800-839-4141. I'm a non-attorney spokesperson. Everybody loves bacon. It's crunchy and delicious. It's possibly nutritious. It's music to my soul. It's the bacon bowl. What you making in your perfect bacon bowl? Wrap your favorite cut of bacon and cook. Available at retailers everywhere. Moses, you say that you didn't cause all this. If you stay, you will perish! Follow me! You will be free!
Well, in theaters this weekend, Exodus, Gods and Kings, the movie ponders some of the Bible's most famous natural phenomena, all during the mass exodus from Egypt. One of the most debated phenomena, did sandstorms really put Egypt in the dark for three days? Our storm specialist, Dr. Greg Postel, has the possible answer. I came to tell you something is coming that is far beyond my control. Darkness, a darkness supposedly so heavy it could be felt, and for three days across Egypt. There is a weather phenomenon that we commonly see in this part of the world and elsewhere that can cause similar effects. It's got different names in different parts of the world, a haboob in some places, a dust storm in others, and in the Middle East, it's called a kamsin or a kamsin. And basically what that is, is a dust storm kicked up by a weather system moving through from west to east across parts of Africa and the Mediterranean world. Let's have a look at the graphics now and it can show you how it all sets up. And typically these systems are favored during the spring season. And what they are essentially are low pressure systems that move from the west and as they do, the circulation around them, the strong south winds bring air from the deserts of Africa, bring it north. And as these systems begin to move east, the strong south winds begin to kick up all that dust. And you can see that this is how it all plays out over the course of a couple of days. And actually we can get these systems once every couple of days during the spring season throughout. So there can be as many as 40 and 50 of these per year. But the idea is a very hot and dusty air mass sits over Egypt, sometimes lasting a couple of days where temperatures can be as high as 132 degrees and you have the dusty air so thick it can make visibility impossible. Wow, Dr. Greg, thanks so much. You know, folks, while the debate will likely continue on what caused the three days of darkness during those biblical times, there is no debate on what's behind the lack of sunlight in a very small town in Sweden. In fact, take a look. This area just north of Stockholm, uh, about 250 miles south of the Arctic Circle, and, and that keeps this community mostly in the dark during the winter months. They average about 20 hours of sunlight per month, and it's all due to the position of the Earth in comparison to the sun. Now, there is a city here in the United States, you know it as Fairbanks, Alaska, that experiences a very similar situation. So let's explain it to you. Let's globe it out for you, if you will. Well, you take a look at this, and what we're dealing with, when you think about it, is you've got the Earth itself, then you have the amount of sunlight. What's interesting is when you when you think of the equator, well, you usually have equal amounts of, of sun during all seasons. But if you think about the Earth's axis, tilted at 23.5 degrees, and then you have the change of seasons, and you have the altering angle of the sun's rays, well, the Earth is tilted away from the sun during the winter time. So that means that some places see a bit of a deficit. Other places begin to see more of a surplus. And you'll notice here Fairbanks, Alaska, very close to the Arctic Circle. So guess what, folks? At times of the year, they have a tremendous lack of sunshine. So lack of sunshine means they spend a great deal of the day in the dark, or at least with the sun just barely over the horizon. So you stay in the dark. Meanwhile, towards the South Pole during certain times of the year, just the opposite, but you have the fluctua fluctuations. You have the feast or you have the famine. And again, it's the equator that is going to have equal amounts of sunlight during different times of the season. So a little bit of a mix up there in terms of what to expect in terms of sunlight around the planet. Well, all that lack of sunlight has got to get you down, right? Well, it's called winter fatigue. And there's a company in a place in Sweden that is doing something to cure it. What exactly? We're going to chat with them coming up on the other side of the break. But first, take a look at some of the weekend events that we have for you. Got one, well, maybe we won't have one. All right, make your own event. Have a good time. Party hard. Woohoo! Free bird. All right, listen up. Out on that field today, you will be ready for anything. And I want you to always remember this is the greatest team you will ever be part of. Hello. There's important work to be done. And only some able to do it. Can you make the cut? <laughs> Consequence number five, the sleepless night. <laughs> Robitussin DMX Nighttime's Dual Action Liquid instantly soothes your throat and delivers fast, powerful cough relief. Robitussin don't suffer the consequences. Everyone sees the same sky, but when we look up, we see something amazing. 
This winter, you've got to watch the Weather Channel mornings. It's going to have wide-ranging impact. Winter storms are too important to cover in just a few minutes. It's going to be brutal for a lot of people. Because it's not just about your forecast. That's why those temperatures stay cold. Look at this! Listen to that! See this winter like never before. Amazing starts here. The Weather Channel mornings. Currently in our area, 59 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, plentiful sunshine, high 75. Winds north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear, low 52. Winds light and variable. Monday, generally sunny, high 76. Winds north northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. is your go-to place for all things Lego, all at unbeatable prices. They've got Lego Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sets, Lego Friends, and this unbelievably cool Emmett's Constructo Mech from the Lego movie. Check out the Lego minifigure I just made, Action Anthony. What's his superpower? Being breathtakingly handsome. She don't know what pretty is. I know. <laughs> Save $25 when you open a Walmart credit card account and spend $75 today. Then get another $10 when you make another $75 purchase. Walmart. Lowe's presents How to Sing a Duet. Bells, bells, all the way. Give the gift of portable power this season with Instaboost. Now only $79 at Lowe's. Grandpa Bodie, Grandma said you used to be out of control. Really? I guess I did take some risks. I trained a little bit differently. I was a little too honest sometimes. The media is useless. You were out of control. But not always. This holiday, give WeatherTech floor liners. They're laser measured to perfectly protect your specific vehicle. Front, back, even up the sides. Check out all of our automotive accessories. Ah, got it. These Wi-Fi hotspots we get with our Xfinity internet service are all over the place. Hey, you can stop looking. I found one. See? What do you think a Wi-Fi hotspot smells like? Think you roast beef. You wanna get lunch? Get the fastest Wi-Fi hotspots and more coverage on the go than any other provider. Xfinity, the future of awesome. This holiday season, we want to spread a little happiness. We make it easy for you to get all your gifts now with FlexPay, a free and easy way to divide your purchases into monthly payments with any credit or debit card. You get your gifts home now and pay them off later with no additional fees. Shop happy this holiday season with HSN gift cards, extended returns, and you can easily track your packages at hsn.com. Gift happy this holiday, only on HSN. They would take better care of her, hmm. always. Protect what matters. Get flood insurance. Tonight at 9. Get down now! Prospectors, the Million Dollar Mountain. Tonight at 9 on the Weather Channel. Okay, imagine this, or, or maybe not. Maybe this sounds awful to you. Spending practically all day in the dark. You know, there's actually a city in Sweden that during the month of December has an average about an hour of daylight a day. It's true, and it would be enough to make so many people depressed, and it actually does. It's called it's, winter fatigue. Yeah, it's a real thing. And joining us now is the marketing director for Umia mm -hmm. Energy. That's Agneta Filium. And uh, good morning to you again, Agneta. Or good afternoon. Here oh, in good afternoon. There of go. course, they're in Sweden. Okay, so she's joining us from Sweden because I understand that your company harvested 
extra solar energy this summer so that you could give it back this winter whenever you lack sunlight. How does that work? Uh, here in Sweden during summer, we have sun nearly all day around. So we collect electricity from solar cells as we believe in sustainable uh, energy. And then now in wintertime, there is the contrary, no sun at all. And we decided why not give back to teenagers who, who need, need energy all time, but mostly also in, in wintertime to give back electricity from the sun in the term of uh, light therapy for students. Interesting, so light therapy, how, how exactly do the lights help people feel less depressed? Uh, the light therapy lights, it's full spectrum lights that affects the melatonin production. It's a hormone that uh, will produce uh, all the time, but when it's morning, the production will go down. So when you have sun in the countries that have sun, the production goes down and you get alert. Uh, but here up in the north, when it's dark all time, the production is high and then we get tired. and and. And so we hope that these sunlights will, will get an effect. Have you heard any feedback? Do students feel less depressed with these lights? Yes, in the beginning they were a bit worried that the lights should be too hard and too clear. But after a week or two now, I think they, a lot of people are positive and uh, they are also positive that you are um, that it's true that we can discuss that we really it's true you are tired uh, now near Christmas and uh, that we can discuss in the society how to to cope with it. Okay. Okay. Sounds sounds wonderful. So light making a difference that would probably yes. help the students. Maybe also giving them A's in all their courses would probably help too. That would probably <laughs> help. It. Thank you so much, Agneta, joining us for this morning from Sweden. Yeah, it's, Sweden. it's crazy. You know, we, we have no boundaries. We go worldwide here. <laughs> hey, folks, thanks so much. Uh, we're going to go to Carl Parker. He's in the lab with the very latest in our winter weather update. Hey, you know, a lot of people are looking forward to uh, what happens 10 days from now and hoping that we'll get some snow on that day. And there is a shot, certainly because there's going to be most likely cold air in place. I want to show you sort of the aggregate of what the models are showing us right now, which is that there will likely be an area of high pressure developing in eastern Canada and up into Greenland. That's called a block. And along with that block, there's a good chance that we'll have cold air coming down, spilling down from Canada and down into the U.S. US. And whenever that is the case, then of course you increase your odds that a storm can come up and along uh, through the south or maybe into the east and that we can get snow out of that. So that's how it's looking right now. That of course could change pretty dramatically between now and then, but we'll watch it. And here's Denver. We're getting some snow now in the foothills and certainly so in the higher elevations. Probably not a lot in the Mile High City, about one to three generally. Heavier snows out across 80 in western Nebraska and northeast Colorado along 70. That's later tonight. Then we get snow into a very late tonight and early tomorrow across 90 in South Dakota. Begins to get over into Minnesota by late tomorrow. And eventually we get just a little bit there in the Twin Cities. But not a lot of accumulation. Few inches across parts of Minnesota. And the heaviest of snow is likely going to be here across north central Nebraska. And one more thing to tell you about. Another storm is going to make its way into California. This is the mid-level spin associated with that, we're going to watch that start to come in Monday and Tuesday. So another round of rain and snow. Now, this is not going to be a blockbuster storm of the type that we saw last time, but it is going to give us more snow there in the Sierra, and that is very good news as regards the drought. Back to you. All right, well, thanks so much for spending your Sunday morning with us and Carl Parker, but we've got yeah. a top-notch team coming up in just 60 seconds. That's right, my man Alex Wallace and Bonnie Schneider coming up in 60 seconds. <laughs> Make it a great day, folks. Yeah, we'll see you next weekend. Bring it in. Bring it in. Ow! <laughs> Currently in our area, 61 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, plentiful sunshine, high 75. Winds north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear, low 52. Winds light and variable.
Monday, generally sunny. High 76. Winds north northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. And the top of the roof, all that stuff that's flying in the video came from off of there. Today, the man who shot this terrifying video of a rare tornado in South Los Angeles is speaking out. Plus, a new series of storms targets California. How will they stack up to last week's monster storm? It's mid-December, but we could be in for dangerous, stormy weather in the central U.S., Dallas, Oklahoma City, and Wichita. Just three cities at risk for strong to severe thunderstorms. Tornadoes are a possibility, too. I'll have the timeline. I'm Paul Goodall, live in Georgetown, Colorado. The California rainstorm is now Colorado's snowstorm, just in time for the 54th annual Georgetown Christmas Market. We'll talk about how this storm is both a blessing and a curse for this market coming up in a live report. Welcome to Weather Center Live on this busy Sunday morning. I'm Bonnie Schneider. And I'm Alex Walsh. The California storm is hitting the plains today. It's a two-phase storm out there. We've got snow on one side and the threat of severe weather on the other. And on our Weather Channel Facebook page, Desiree Kalbler says she posted a picture of the snow, and this is in Flagstaff, Arizona. She's been in the country club area of the city. She says her and her cat Poe love the snow. We want to hear from you, so send us your pictures. Your weekend is the hashtag. And our California storm yeah, behind the cold and the snowy conditions there in the Mountain West, Salt Lake City actually seeing temperatures in the mid-30s this morning and going up to the upper 30s with a few snow showers. Can't rule that out today. Denver waking up to temps in the lower 30s uh, this morning. Good chance of dealing with some rain changing to snow as those temperatures drop throughout the day. And as the monster storm heads east, it's bringing snow and rain to the Rockies. Man, Paul Goodloe has been following the monster storm as it moves eastward. Yesterday he was in California. Well, today he is in Georgetown, which is just east of Denver. And Paul, I tell you, you want to talk about a winter wonderland, that is it. It certainly is, Alex. And we're about an hour west of Denver right here in Georgetown. Our elevation is about 8,500 feet, so we get a lot of snow most of the year, and we haven't had that much so far, so this is definitely what they've been waiting for here. Take a look around me. I mean, this town is really dressed up for the holidays and quite fitting because they have their 54th annual Christmas market going on here. In fact, uh, a lot of talk about movies this morning. There was actually a movie called The Christmas Gift filmed here back in 1986 about this festival starring uh, uh, John Denver as well. So you want to, might want to pick that up and kind of give you the Christmas spirit as we had 10 days, 10 shopping days left before Christmas. And you would think having all this snow would be a, a blessing, right? In fact, uh, some of the video you're watching there on the screen is what was shot here yesterday where it was 54 degrees, no snow around, and more than 1,000 people came out yesterday. The big concern is now we have snow coming down that this might actually keep people away. Take a listen. Georgetown gets snow. When they get it over on the divide, we always get a little bit here. Just depends. When the sheep are down on the road eating, then we always have some sort of weather in 24 hours. Whether it be rain in the summertime or snow in the winter. And the woman is talking about the bighorn sheep. Again, when they come down from the mountains, uh, it's kind of a, a signal that, okay, weather is changing, and if they were eating yesterday, and now the snow is coming down. And a lot of people who live in Denver might be coming up to the ski country to, to enjoy the, the dew tour over at Breckenridge. This is a great place to stop about halfway to that. Again, the festival, the market opens at 10, goes through 5 o'clock tonight. This is the last day of the market. It's a great place to pick up some local gifts and crafts, and also tons of children's activities going on as well as a visit by good old saint nicholas guys all right thank you so much paul certainly looks fantastic to get folks in the holiday spirit no doubt about it well let's track this storm system as it moves its way on off towards the east just a bit there's the radar showing you some of the snow that is still in place here for you there's denver it's mostly west and south of you right now where we are finding some snow there's the storm system on the north side and the west side, that's where we've got some of that colder air being brought southbound here for us. And today, anywhere in the blue, that's where we'll find the best opportunity for some of that snow throughout the Colorado Rockies.
is dealing with that tonight. You'll see it continuing. Denver getting it on the act and starting to spread a little bit farther now off to the east into the plain states. Parts of South Dakota getting into Nebraska. You'll be dealing with some of the snow and then a bit of a wintry mix getting into parts of the upper Midwest. So it'll be a decent swath of snow here for us, particularly here as we work our way on into the plains. That's where we could see five to eight inches of snow generally north of the North Platte area. As you get down into the Denver area, less snow amounts expected there for us. Generally across the city, one to three inches of snow. Your higher totals will be back towards the west getting into some of the higher terrain there. So here's your day, Denver. Looking for snow showers through the late morning, afternoon, and evening out there. So generally there'll be uh, light snow with temperatures in the mid 30s falling through the evening. Bonnie? Thanks, Alex. Well, the storm also brings the risk of severe weather today. Damaging wind and hail, that's the primary threat. But of course, we can't rule out a tornado. You can see that we have a live picture behind me of Dallas, Texas. That's one of the cities that we're tracking for the potential of severe weather later on today. Let's take a closer look at this storm and the threat that it poses. It's interesting, one storm from the West Coast can work its way across the center of the country. Looking at our water vapor imagery, you can start to see the digging in of the jet stream that's happening right now. We're getting that cooler air coming down. Certainly, will produce snow, but it's also setting the stage for the severe weather to break out. In advance of the system, look at this moisture that's abundant from Texas all the way to Louisiana and then certainly into the Central Plains states. And this is where we could see that severe weather threat break out because of the combination of that upper level disturbance coming through and the abundant moisture. And of course, we have that temperature contrast. Right now, it doesn't look too bad. We do have some storms that are popping up in advance of the main event. And this is between Amarillo and Oklahoma City. So if you're driving, I just added the lightning feature and you can see that some of these storms are producing frequent lightning strikes as they continue to work their way further to the east. Time it out moment by moment. I'd say around lunchtime. That's when you're looking for storms to really erupt in Oklahoma City and they could be severe as we go through the afternoon. It really depends on how much sunshine we get for the day. So we're tracking that very, very carefully throughout the day and then into the evening hours. Something to keep close watch on. Looking at this threat, you can see Oklahoma City and Dallas. That's some of the areas we're watching for severe weather and as we drive through the region and many of you will be driving perhaps you're heading to a holiday party or shopping look at this one to five that's when we have damaging wind spotty hail in Dallas head north on 35 past Ardmore head up to Oklahoma City and there's even the chance for a tornado we're monitoring this closely Alex well California here it comes a brand new Pacific storm is on your doorstep even before the mud dries from the last big rain hey. Plus, we talk with the man who shot this dramatic video of Friday's tornado in South Los Angeles. people love. Now that's progressive. Call or click today. Breaking wind and average fleece. Breaking wind and Duluth trading Shoreman's fleece. Duluth trading Shoreman's fleece. Three gust busting layers. One beefed up fleece. Get one. Only at DuluthTrading.com. Say hello to the new Weather.com. A beautiful new design with weather as the main story. The information you need, the site you rely on, the brand you trust. The new Weather.com. The final piece in the Weather Channel redesign. The Weather Channel. It's amazing out there. Currently in our area, 61 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, plentiful sunshine, high 75. Winds north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear, low 52, winds light and variable.
Monday, generally sunny. High 76. Winds north northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Tonight at 9 on the Weather Channel. The holidays go high-tech with Holidays in Space at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Join us for an out-of-this-world take on the sights and sounds of the holiday season now through January 4th. Visit TourKSC.com for details. We love, love, love chocolatey, creamy, with a little something extra. Mmm, deliciousness. Cookies. Or almonds. Yumminess. Hershey's is mine. Yours, our chocolate. Omega-3s are one of the essential nutrients to support your heart health. But even with a healthy diet rich in omega-3s, many people don't get enough. That's why I recommend omega-3 supplements to support your heart health. MegaRed is an omega-3 supplement recognized by the Hope Heart Institute. Research shows omega-3s may reduce the risk of coronary heart disease. The omega-3s in MegaRed are easily absorbed by the body. And it's just one small pill a day. Support your heart health with Mega Red. The clock is ticking, so let's grab the list and go to town. You don't need a lot of this to make someone feel like that. Especially if you give them one of these. Holiday to-dos? Let's get them done today at the one place that can help us bring it all home. That's how to holiday. Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Right now, save 50 bucks on this Husky Mechanics tool set. Guaranteed forever. What do astronauts eat? Have lunch with one and find out. Only at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Meet real astronauts, see space shuttle Atlantis, and experience firsthand the future of America's space exploration. I'll tell you, the shock still hasn't worn off in South Los Angeles in the wake of the first tornado to hit the city in 10 years. Incredible. That twister skipped over 10 blocks, ripping off a roof and damaging at least five homes. One man's video has gone viral, showing the EF0 twister's fury. Our Dave Malkoff caught up with him. Oh. This is the day of the storm. And this is the day after. The ice cream man doesn't normally have to dodge tornado debris in South Los Angeles. This is the tree still in my driveway. I can't even get out. Jamie Mayna recorded that video you've most likely already seen on Facebook. Oh. This is his story. It spun up behind the pictures. Hey. The wind kept hitting my hand. That's why my hand kept twisting like that in the video. The tornado, a confirmed EF0, sent this stroller flying. Empty, thank goodness. It busted windows. Out of all, these things, out of all of them, mine is the only one that got hit. And cracked a big tree limb right onto Jamie's truck. What's crazy though, man, I usually park right here. That's where I live right there, in the top of the roof. All that stuff that's flying in the video came from off of there. I mean, we in LA. I never thought that there would be no tornado out here. Don't let this EF0 rating fool you. This tornado was powerful enough to twist the big metal billboard back there. But it's extremely rare. If you talk to National Weather Service, they say the last one they can remember was January 2010, and that was technically a water spout that came off the ocean. And before that, you got to go way back to the early 80s when a low-level tornado hit in downtown Los Angeles. This one will also go down in the record books along with Jamie's video. The words I was using was just a natural, natural reaction from me. And a few choice words. It, it, it was the heat of the moment, basically. You know, I just, it just came out like that. Who could blame him? Incredible pictures and unusual, of course, to see a tornado in Los Angeles. But what's happening now, California, weather-wise? Alex has a look at that. Indeed, we're going to be watching again 
More wet weather coming on into California as we head on through uh, this to end of the weekend and into next week as well. Now, San Francisco for you, since the beginning of this month, and we're only, we're not even halfway through, over seven and a half inches of rain out there for you. The city averages for the entire month four inches, so well above that, and we'll be adding to those totals with our next system. That's going to be sliding its way on in. Big trough coming in with an upper low that's going to be coming into the west coast to provide us with another shot at that rainfall as that moisture channel streams right on into some of the same areas that had to deal with some of the rain this past week. So here's how it plays out as we head through the rest of today. Sunday by about 5, 6 o'clock, starting to see some of this rain working its way towards the coast, continuing as we head through the overnight hours into our our Monday morning, so that Monday morning, a rush is going to be a bit of a wet one for you in the Bay Area, continuing through Monday afternoon, and then starting to spread in a little bit more that we'll start to see a bit more in the way of snow into parts of the Sierra. So get ready for more wet weather Tuesday. That'll continue out there for you as well, and even into Wednesday. Next up, we're going to track the wintry weather threat that's going to move in the middle of the country. Lowe's presents How to Sing a Duet. Bells. Bells all the way. Give the gift of portable power this season with Instaboost. Now only $79 at Lowe's. She's still the one for you. And Cialis for daily use helps you be ready anytime the moment is right. Cialis is also the only daily ED tablet approved to treat symptoms of BPH, like needing to go frequently. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions and medicines and ask if your heart is healthy enough for sex. Do not take Cialis if you take nitrates for chest pain as it may cause an unsafe drop in blood pressure. Do not drink alcohol in excess. Side effects may include headache, upset stomach, delayed backache, or muscle ache. To avoid long-term injury, get medical help right away for an erection lasting more than four hours. If you have any sudden decrease or loss in hearing or vision or any allergic reactions like rash, hives, swelling of the lips, tongue, or throat, or difficulty breathing or swallowing, stop taking Cialis and get medical help right away. Ask your doctor about Cialis for daily use and a free 30-tablet trial. My grandson's got this blankie that gets filthy. But he's got such sensitive skin that you worry about what you use in the laundry. So I use new Tide Pods, free and gentle, to get a deep clean that's gentle on skin. Ooh. New Tide Pods, free and gentle. If you've ever wondered how you're going to survive another harsh winter, or stay dry from torrential rain showers, or savor the last warm rays of sun, step inside the Jeep Grand Cherokee and wonder no more. This is the Jeep Grand Cherokee, the most awarded SUV ever. Well-qualified lessees can lease the 2015 Grand Cherokee Laredo for $369 a month. From I wonder what it is, to you'll never guess. Everything from L.L. Bean is backed by the same rock-solid guarantee. So while they keep guessing, you know that we'll take it back or replace it. L.L. Bean, guaranteed to please. At Intel, they have technology you can control with gestures. Like now, she's flying a spaceship to Mars. We're flying a plane to Detroit. Intel, this is where it all changes. This winter, you've got to watch the Weather Channel mornings. It's going to have wide-ranging impacts. Winter storms are too important to cover in just a few minutes. It's going to be brutal for a lot of people. Because it's not just about your forecast. That's why those temperatures stay cold. Look at That's it. Good job. You got them next time, buddy. Eye on the ball. Good try, son. Let's go, kid. I'm go, go, go. Is that your son? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Mine's the goalie. Turn around, boy. That's a dryer. <laughs> a natural gas dryer. Go! Walk it off. Just walk it off, son. <laughs> Families everywhere are feeling the love for their natural gas dryers. Find out why at naturalgaslove.com. Did you know that while you're going about your day, your immune system is fighting for you? Inside your body, your immune system is a tiny special ops team preparing for a highly coordinated mission. But sometimes, it gets tough in there. So give your immune system our most powerful boost yet. New Airborne Dual Action. An awesome fusion of antioxidants. Plus new beta immune boosters clinically proven to boost your immune system. So get new Airborne Dual Action. Our most powerful immune boost yet. Call 1-800-715-9495. Call now. Tonight at 9. Get down now! Prospectors, the Million Dollar Mountain. Tonight at 9 on the Weather Channel.
Currently in our area, 62 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, sunny, high 74, winds north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear skies, low 52, winds light and variable. Monday, mostly sunny skies, high 76, winds north-northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. So great. The snow is perfect. Yeah. I think this storm really did us good. Ah, uh, yes, the skiers and snowboarders delight as heavy rains and fierce winds steamrolled parts of California. On the mountains, the slopes reaped the rewards. At least two feet of snow uh, for some there in the Sierra Resort and more snow on the way. All right, now to the winter weather update. I'm here in the lab with Sports Storm Specialist Carl Parker, and yeah, we are finding ourselves getting some beneficial snow for some of the ski areas. Great news. It was a brutal season last year, so it's very good they're getting the snow this year. And we've got snow coming down in Colorado right now, and I believe we've got a live shot of Georgetown, Colorado. This is west of Denver and along 70, and uh, what a beautiful scene Look there. Huh? At that. If you're not in the holiday spirit at this point, mm. Look at your TV screen right now and get into it because that is picture perfect. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. And uh, this is what that looks like on the radar. We are getting the snow now in the Rockies, in the foothills. Not a whole lot going on in Denver as we speak. And we'll change the orientation here. And you can see where the elevation really changes dramatically. And we get additional lift out of that. And that's where most of the snow is going to be. But we could get a couple of inches of snow there in Denver. And as we expand the picture out a little bit, the snow is beginning to taper off in the central part of the state starting to pick up along the 25 corridor. Low pressure is really getting going in this area. And uh, we're also now seeing some snow farther south down towards Santa Fe and the Taos, beautiful part of the country. And we have had seven inches mm. at Ski Santa Fe so far and uh, still coming down there. All right. So here's the model forecast and we'll watch that low come out. Now the heaviest of snow is likely going to be right along 76 and then up towards 80 in western Nebraska. That's going to be through tonight. Again, not a tremendous amount of snow in Denver. And then going forward into early Monday morning, we watch that come up towards the 90 corridor. It will get over into Minneapolis, uh, St. Paul eventually, but at this point, it's gonna be very thin. Not a lot of accumulation, probably about one to three across Minnesota, northern Wisconsin. Again, the heaviest of snow is likely gonna be there in western Nebraska and also down into northeast Colorado. So not too bad, a decent snow. I mean, yeah. not blockbuster, but enough to certainly cause some travel headaches. Absolutely. And uh, we've got another storm on the way there in California, and that upper energy is now offshore. So there's a model depiction of the mid-level energy associated with this, where you're seeing more of those blue colors. That's where there's a lot of lift in the atmosphere. That is going to come into California late Monday and Tuesday, which means another big round of rain and another big round of snow. And, you know, the snowpack feeds these reservoirs mm -hmm. from which we get our drinking water there in California. And and they are really up across a lot of the states, so good news. Yeah, absolutely. So that's the good side of things here for us with this next batch coming on in this week. Bonnie, we'll send it back to you. Thank you, Alex. We're going to go outside now and check things out on Sunday morning. Chicago, Atlanta, Pittsburgh, and New York City all looking good today in advance of some storms coming through. It's nice to see those pretty shots early in the morning. But what about the next seven days? Now, these seven days, they're crucial. Why? It's the last seven days of fall. On Sunday, a week from today, it'll be winter. Oh, boy. All right, speaking of winter, look what we're looking at today. We've got snow. We've been talking about that. Some of it will be pretty substantial into the mountains of Colorado and further to the west. By tomorrow, that storm system is on the move. It's impacting a whole different batch of people. Look at this. Rain coming up from Chicago all the way down through Louisiana. If you're driving or flying, you may be impacted by that storm as it continues to work its way across the country. And then Tuesday, the northeast and the midwest facing some rain from Chicago, 
all the way to Pittsburgh where you saw those nice looking skies today. Things are changing and as we head towards the middle of the week, we're getting a little bit of a wintry mix for West Virginia, parts of upstate New York, including Buffalo. Not a huge snow event, but something to keep in mind if you're driving or flying. And then off to the center of the country, it looks good, but look at this. Another storm system coming into areas of California and off to the west. This is not going to be um, as damaging as what we saw earlier, but Remember, any rain we get is beneficial at this point, so we'll take it. A wintry mix of snow, sleet, freezing rain, and some rain for Dallas. Dallas stays above freezing right at 55 by the time we get to Thursday. And then we're getting to those final shopping days, very close to Christmas on Friday and into Saturday. We're looking good across the country. A little bit of rain, as I mentioned, into the Mid-South. That's going to be problematic throughout the week. And then finally, look at this, busy travel day Saturday. And we do have some snow and some rain to contend with in the Southeast. So lots of weather happening for this last blast of fall. Alex? All right. Thanks so much, Bonnie. Well, you know, you are watching Weather Center Live for Sunday, December 14th. Straight ahead, Dallas, Oklahoma City, Wichita. You take ownership of the big Pacific storm that walloped LA with a tornado. You have the threat of severe storms for the South Central Plains. And also, nature puts on an angry display in the new movie, Exodus, Gods and Kings. Under the roof of a home or business, damage can happen. When it does, turn to the specialists who put help in the palm of your hand. The Ready App and Emergency Response Plans from 1-800-SERV-PRO. Like it never even happened. Andrew. Rita. Sandy. Meet Chris. Jackie. Joe, minor damage or major disaster. When you need us most, we're there. State Farm, we're a force of nature too. At the end of the day, my hands are beat up. Especially during the winter times, hands are splitting, cracking, making it very difficult to do my job. O'Keefe's Working Hands, guaranteed relief for dry hands that crack and split. Best stuff we've ever used. It just works. Learn more at workinghands.com. Lowe's presents How to Sing a Duet. Bells, bells, all the way. Give the gift of portable power this season with InstaBoost. Now only $79 at Lowe's. If it's in your nature to love the great outdoors, don't miss the chance to find the perfect gifts at Cabela's.com. Shop the Cabela's Christmas online event for great deals on all your favorite outdoor brands. Find gifts for everyone on your list at unbeatable prices. Plus, check out our free shipping promotions. Don't miss our Christmas online event at Cabela's.com. Toenail fungus? Don't hide it. Fight it with new FDA-approved Jublia. Jublia, a phenaconazole 10% topical solution, is a prescription medicine proven to treat fungal infections of the toenails. Use Jublia as instructed by your doctor. Most common side effects include ingrown toenail, application site redness, itching, swelling, burning or stinging, blisters, and pain. Fight it! Ask your doctor now if new Jublia is right for you. Advil, you get relief right at the site of pain, wherever it is. Advil stops pain right where it starts. Relief doesn't get any better than this. Advil. Say hello to the new weather.com, a beautiful new design with weather as the main story. The information you need, the site you rely on, the brand you trust. The new weather.com. The final piece in the Weather Channel redesign. The Weather Channel. It's amazing out there. Currently in our area, 62 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, sunny, high 74. Winds north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. 
tonight, mainly clear skies. Low 52, winds light and variable. Monday, mostly sunny skies. High 76, winds north-northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Every Sunday, the titans of weather bring the rain. Geek out Sundays at noon on the Weather Channel. Just like a piece of heaven has been taken away from you. All these people have lost everything. The houses are paid for and everything, and they thought this was their nest egg. Those words really driving home the emotional damage. It's deeper than the structural damage caused by this monster California storm. And here's a statistic that really drives home just how much rain this storm unleashed. One meteorologist quoted by the LA Times puts the number at 10 trillion. Wow. Yeah, trillion gallons of water. That's enough to fill 15 million Olympic-sized swimming pools. That is just incredible. You can't even imagine that, but it is a good image to keep in mind. Yeah, absolutely. Now, today, that storm being reborn in the central U.S. On the warm side, strong to severe thunderstorms. That is a concern. Parts of Texas to Kansas, Dallas, Oklahoma City, Wichita, all at the risk for severe weather. Possibility for even an isolated tornado. And it's not just severe weather, Alex. We're also monitoring the threat for snow. And you can see here live pictures of Laramie, Wyoming, and Denver, Colorado, all in the forecast to get some wintry weather on this final week of fall. And now as the monster storm heads east, it is the uh, dropping a bit of snow and rain into the parts of the Rockies. But Paul Goodlow has been following this monster storm as it's moved east. He is 8,000 feet up in the Rocky Mountain town of Georgetown, just west of Denver. That's right, Alex. Officially uh, over 8,500 feet up here in Georgetown. And take a look around me. I mean, this is a winter wonderland. The town it looks like it's ready for Christmas, a Christmas postcard around me. But I got to tell you, this is a far cry from what this town looked like yesterday. Take a look at this video here. Temperatures were in the 50s, and there was about more than 1,000 people out here for their annual Christmas market, the 54th year of this Christmas market. And again, today, temperatures now uh, just below freezing, and I've been out here for at least least four hours and I just measured it we have just over four inches of snow here in Georgetown we're talking an inch an hour and I got to tell you nothing spells Christmas like snow on these streets which are all uh, decorated for Christmas and joining me now is Nancy Hale she's one of the organizers for this uh, Christmas market and Nancy this is the 54th year of having it here tell us more about this market and this historic town of Georgetown it started in 1960, so you're right, 54 years. And this has just been a lovely town since, well, the silver boom, mining. And it's just actually people have been, are related to people that were here right in the beginning. And when you have snow falling during this Christmas market, what does it mean to the, the vendors and even people coming out to, partic uh, to participate in the, uh, the market? When you live at 8,500 feet, you're used to snow and you're used to driving in it. So I fully predict we'll have a full town today. And how are the roads? I, I keep constantly hearing uh, the plows on I-70. It looks like they're trying to keep this thing wide open for people coming in from Denver. CDOT is wonderful. They really are. And they do keep the roads clear. And we have tunnels to go through, and the tunnels are open. So come on to Georgetown. So when people get here, what is there to do? Is it stuff for families, kids? The vendors are right over here, as you can see. And then you see the town. I mean, it's just wonderful as far as you can shop. But also, they're just so many many activities that right you can do. St. Nicholas will make a St. Nicholas will. And what is and who is uh, Santa Lucia? Santa Lucia Singers. It's a procession that's been going on in Sweden for a long time. This was a town of Swedish miners. So it started up and it's just darling little children, the girls that come down this way and sing and they're all dressed up as kind of little dolls. All right. Sounds like a fantastic time for the family out here celebrating the holiday. Well, I hope it is. What do you think? <laughs> I think it's fantastic. The weather's great. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you. So, guys, again, the snow continues to come down at least four inches here and probably plenty more in the ski country. And by the way, this is a great stop, whether you're going to or from ski country. 
a great place to shop too. The 10 days, 10 shopping days left before Christmas. Guys. Oh, thanks for the reminder, Paul. I definitely need to step on the gas when it comes to shopping out there. Beautiful scene there uh, with Paul. All right, let's talk about this system as it's now starting to move its way a little bit farther towards the east, bringing us some of the snow here for us. You can see showing up now right along that sort of 25 corridor before long Denver. You'll start to see uh, some snow showers out there, all thanks to this trough sliding its way here across the Intermountain regions with an upper low and then an area of low pressure developing at the surface here on the east side of the Rockies. That will actually begin to move its way east and take with it that threat for some snow. All right, so today, anywhere in the blue, we'll be following Casper down towards Denver. But it looks like Pueblo for you, you'll be dealing with more of a rain and snow mix. Then as we move into tonight, starting to see it now press out into the plains. Rapid City getting on that threat for the snow. Continuing eastbound now, Sioux Falls up to International Falls. More of a wintry mix there for you. Of course, the big question is how much are we going to see? Well, it looks like the bigger totals will be here for uh, portions of northeastern Colorado into sections of Nebraska where we could see five to eight inches of the stuff piling up. Then we've got to deal with the threat for stronger storms. Bonnie's got that story. That's right, Alex. We do have the risk for very strong storms across much of this region uh, that we're tracking. But first, you can hear the sound of some hail. That's right, hail falling in Cave Creek. Listen to this. Looks like the dog is happy about it. <laughs> All right, well, this is uh, from Irene uh, Rutt-Legano. I appreciate this video. Incredible storms. It's the same storm system from California, and look what it did in Arizona. But what's it going to do next? We do run the risk of even more hail, not in Arizona per se, but possibly into Texas and Oklahoma. That's where we're looking at the threat for severe weather. Looking at the water vapor imagery, high pressure to the east, but look what's coming. Upper level low, working its way from the four corners, and that's just going to push up against this ridge of nice warm air that's coming in and change everything, especially as the day goes on. We do have lots of moist air coming in from the Gulf of Mexico. That's in advance of this system. Really will trigger things as we go through the day, depending on how much sunshine we get. But as we break it down, hour by hour, minute by minute, we can tell you through the lunch hour, you run the risk of some heavy downpours into Wichita, Oklahoma City, and then throughout the evening hours, crossing the border into Kansas and Missouri. Look at that, some heavy downpours of rain, and then and on the back side of it, we're looking at quite a bit of snow. Now, zooming into the region where we do expect some severe weather, that will occur into parts of Oklahoma City and into Dallas as well. This is where we run the risk of very strong thunderstorms throughout a good portion of the afternoon. Again, depending if we get a lot of sunshine, that'll destabilize the atmosphere and we'll see those storms fire on up. And you can't run out the risk, certainly for tornadoes. Let's take a closer look and zoom in as we drive through Dallas, for example, on I-35, what we're looking at a lot of thunderstorms working their way through that threat for damaging winds, intense lightning, and even spotty hail. Head north up 35, right into Oklahoma, and look at this. We're also running that risk as well. Damaging winds, intense lightning, and even the chance for a tornado with the Torcon being at number three. So we do have that risk into the central plains and into areas of Texas. In Dallas, look at this. Storms for today and tonight. Be careful if you're driving on 35 or anywhere in this vicinity. Alex? All right, Bonnie. Well, of course, it's Sunday, and at this time of the year, that means it's NFL action football. Let's talk about the kickoff forecast. We're going to start off in Baltimore, where the Jags and the Ravens will go at it. Cloudy skies out there, but a dry forecast should be looking at 40s. A little breezy, 10 to 15 mile an hour wind shear uh, as we work our way through the game. Then we work our way to East Weatherford, New Jersey, where the New York Giants play. Welcoming in my lowly skins. I tell you, it's, I'm borderline embarrassed to call myself a skins fan. Terrible season. But rivalry game, and you never know what's going to happen. The forecast looks pretty good. Mid-40s out there by game time. Again, winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Let's get you into sunny Southern Cal, San Diego, and Denver. This will be a fun one to watch, right? Philip Rivers, Peyton Manning going at each other. Beautiful skies, temps in the 60s. Bonnie? All right, thanks so much, Alex. Well, your local weather on the 8s is straight ahead, but first, nature shows us an angry side in the movie Exodus, Gods and Kings. Currently in our area, 65 degrees under partly cloudy skies.
today, sunny, high 74. Winds north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear skies, low 52. Winds light and variable. Monday, mostly sunny skies, high 76. Winds north-northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Okay, Patrick, one more stop. Let's go base, shark, blitz. Base, shark, blitz. When the game's on the line. Okay, this is for the game. The NFL trusts Duracell Quantum to power their game day communication. The board, the board, he's keeping it. Duracell Quantum lasts up to 35% longer than the competition. This man has an accomplished research and analytical group at his disposal. But even more impressive is how he puts it to work for his clients. Morning. Morning. Thanks Hi. for meeting so early. Oh, that's not a big deal at all. Come on in. It's how Edward Jones makes sense of investing. Hug at a tree, an average women's flannel. Hug at a tree, and Duluth trading free swinging flannel. Duluth Free Swing in Flannel. Moving made easy. Flannel made fetching. Get it. Only at DuluthTrading.com. With Crizal No Glare lenses, neither water, nor scratch, nor smudge, nor glare of night can keep you from the clearest vision possible. And Crizal has ESPF 25 to protect your eyes from the damaging rays of the sun. Crizal. Live life in the clear. We love, love, love chocolatey, creamy, with a little something extra. Mmm, deliciousness. Cookies. Or almonds. Yumminess. Hershey's is mine. Yours, our chocolate. So we've had a Tempur-Pedic for a while, but now that we have the adjustable base, it's even better. I'm gonna go up and... When I put my feet up on this bed, my stress just goes away. Visit your local retailer and discover how Tempur-Pedic can move you. <laughs> it's only for a couple of nights, okay? Yep. Um, for me? She'll love it. Thanks. Did you get the chips for the party? Nope. Cheese plate? Cheese plate. No. I made something better. You use the oven? Boom. Pillsbury Crescents. Make the holidays pop. The clock is ticking, so let's grab the list and go to town. You don't need a lot of this to make someone feel like that, especially if you give them one of these. Holiday to-dos? Let's get them done today at the one place that can help us bring it all home. That's how to holiday. Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Your choice of these compressor combo kits, just 199 bucks. Omega-3s are one of the essential nutrients to support your heart health. But even with a healthy diet rich in omega-3s, many people don't get enough. That's why I recommend omega-3 supplements to support your heart health. MegaRed is an omega-3 supplement recognized by the Hope Heart Institute. Research shows omega-3s may reduce the risk of coronary heart disease. The omega-3s in MegaRed are easily absorbed by the body. And it's just one small pill a day. Support your heart health with MegaRed. Moses, you say that you didn't cause all this. If you stay, you will perish! Follow me! You will be free! Do not be afraid! God is with us! Darkness. 
Wow. Well, in theaters this weekend, Exodus, Gods and Kings, the movie ponders some of the Bible's most famous natural phenomena. Yeah, all during the Israelites' uh, mass exodus from Egypt, the torrential rains in Ethiopia send red clay into the Nile, turning the color of, of blood. Did Moses witness a tsunami at the parting of the Red Sea? Well, here's Sam Champion with a look at this epic movie. In Exodus Gods and Kings, director Ridley Scott recreates one of the most epic battles ever told. The movie stars Christian Bale as Moses, the defiant leader who rises up against the Egyptian pharaoh Ramses, played by Joel Edgerton. It's based on the biblical story of how Moses set 600,000 slaves on a monumental journey of escape from Egypt. A sea ahead and an army behind! And Bale says filmmakers capture the wrath of God with incredible realism. High mountains going directly down with a, with, a, with a small bit of beach, but that beach runs for maybe 10 miles um, down to this very um, tumultuous sea with the really strong currents. It was this prehistoric looking place, looked absolutely untouched. Shot on location in Almeria, Spain, no expense was spared. Witness the film's budget topping $200 million. So a lot of big physical set pieces. I mean, massive amounts of chariots passing very treacherous um, mountainous areas. Also playing out on this enormous canvas, a terrifying cycle of deadly plagues. Something is coming. The movie ponders whether these deadly plagues sprang from very real causes, with weather playing a starring role, raising the question, is this just a legend of divine proportions, or could it also be the greatest weather story in history? Well, all morning on Twitter, one of the trending hashtags has been meteorological films. Now, of course, we're the Weather Channel, and we're getting it on the fun. It's easy to do. Just add or replace a word in a film title with a weather term. Here's a handful that we like. Well, the Black Ice Project, the Polar Vortex Express, and Bombo Genesis Buyers Club. These are funny. And Goodwill Hailing. The only one I came up with was It's a Wonderful Lightning. I have to work on getting some more of these, Alex, but yeah. some good ones out there. Uh, I'd say this it might be one of the greatest hashtags ever created. Whoever came up with it. Bow down to you, bow down, fantastic. All right, let's get you into St. Louis. Here's how it's looking right now. Got a few clouds out there for you this early morning, but it is a warm start to things. We're already in the lower 50s at this hour there in St. Louis, and we're gonna continue to climb as we head on into this afternoon. Very unseasonably warm conditions in the middle of the country. Back here, our St. Louis today's high. Should get up to 60. Your average high for the day is 42 degrees, so well above that. So what's going on? Well, we've got a big ridge that's pretty much taken over a good chunk of the middle of the country. With that, more of a southerly flow, those southerly winds coming in. That's a warming wind out there out ahead of our storm system that's moving its way now uh, through sections of, uh, of the Rockies. So today, look at these highs. They'll be anywhere from 15 to 25 degrees above average, and that includes you there in the Twin Cities. Chicago getting warm over towards Kansas City, Dodge City as well, dealing with that also. So here we are, actual highs, 60 in Dodge City. That's 15 degrees degrees above average as we move into tomorrow. We do keep it going with warmth in Des Moines. 20 degrees above average there for you. Tuesday, I wouldn't call it toasty, but again, it is above average 10, 15 degrees, including you there in Pittsburgh, near 50 degrees for the day. So let's talk about Kansas City. The average high is 40 degrees, well above that for the next few days. But look, Tuesday, asking where's winter? It's coming back. It's gonna chill right back down early next week. Talking winter weather, that's up next. presents how to sing a duet. Bells, bells, all the way. Give the gift of portable power this season with InstaBoost. Now only $79 at Lowe's. Seat belts, headrests, 
and airbags help you survive a crash. But if you upgrade your headlights, you may even avoid one. See farther, wider, better. Silver Star Ultra Headlights from Sylvania. Golf's past two decades have been the most unique in the history of the game. Now, in a commemorative edition, Golf Channel chronicles the icons, the moments, and the trends that will influence the game for decades to come. Just in time for the holiday season, the Golf Book is the perfect gift for every golfer on your list. Order yours today at golfchannel.com slash thegolfbook. Currently in our area, 65 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, sunny, high 74. Winds north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear skies. Low, 52. Winds light and variable. Monday, mostly sunny skies. High, 76. Winds north-northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. sleep like a champ. Then boom, what happened? Stress, fun, bad habits, kids. Now what? Let's build a new smarter bed using the dual air chambers to sense your movement, heartbeat, breathing. Introducing the Sleep Number Bed with Sleep IQ technology. It tracks your sleep and tells you how to adjust for a good, better, and an awesome night. The difference? Try adjusting up or down. You'll know because Sleep IQ tells you. Give the gift of amazing sleep. Only at a Sleep Number store. Find our Best Buy rated C2 Queen mattress with Sleep IQ. No better sleep with Sleep Number. Dave, I'm sorry to interrupt. I gotta take a sick day tomorrow. Dads don't take sick days. Dads take NyQuil. The nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching fever. Best sleep with a cold medicine. Check. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. <gasps> <gasps> no! Energizer protects your devices from damaging leaks. Guaranteed. Lowe's presents How to Sing a Duet. Bells, bells, all the way. Give the gift of portable power this season with InstaBoost. Now only $79 at Lowe's. From I wonder what it is to you'll never guess. Everything we sell at L.L. Bean is backed by the same rock-solid guarantee of satisfaction. So while they keep guessing what's inside, you can rest assured that they can always take it back or replace it. At Seaside Palm Beach, we recognize that you may have other obligations in your life. When you're here, you'll be able to bring your laptop. We encourage you to bring your phone. We don't want you disconnected from the rest of the world. Where other treatment centers will not allow you to have these things, we know that you have a life, but we're going to help you live that life better than when you came here. Your transition from chemically dependent to chemical free will be as painless as possible. Seaside, Palm Beach, please come see us. Awesome is watching hit movies like Divergent here. And the biggest hit shows here. My head's caught. Or even here. Anywhere you want, anytime you want. This is awesome. This is HBO on Xfinity. Get your favorite series and movies with HBO. Plus, upgrade to digital preferred TV and get over 80 additional channels. Upgrade now for $14.99 more a month for 12 months. Call 1-800-XFINITY or go online today. Call 1-800-715-9495. Call now. Tonight at 9. Prospectors, the Million Dollar Mountain. Tonight at 9 on the Weather Channel. 
Welcome back to Weather Center Live. I'm meteorologist Paul Gurdo, live in Georgetown, Colorado, the home of their annual Christmas market, about to get underway in about an hour and a half, two hours from now. And the snow is still coming down. Here's my unofficial measurement of how much snow we picked up here. Again, I got my ruler, stick it in. We're closing in on five inches of snow. I have been out here for about five hours as well. And this is that light, fluffy powder here. Horrible for making snowball, but balls, but easy for shoveling and uh, get the snowblower out as well. Fantastic news for skiers and snowboarders. Also fantastic news for making this town even look more like Christmas around here. But all this snow is part of the major western storm that pounded California uh, since the end of last week. But now there's a new storm heading to the west, but also this current storm is still dumping plenty of snow. Let's get more winter weather with a winter weather update with uh, Carl Parker. Carl? Hey, Paul, I know you're a skier and that uh, dry powdery snow is exactly what you want in the mountains, right? All right, we'll get back out to Paul in a little while. And let's take a look at what's going on with the radar picture right now. That snow really filling in uh, up and down 25. We are getting light snow now at the Air Force Academy. It's not going to be a huge storm along the front range there. We're thinking uh, maybe a few inches in Denver. We've gotten some pretty healthy amounts in the southwestern part of the state. Telluride's had nine inches so far. And going forward, we're going to watch that low come out and into the western high plains. So the heavier snow is going to set up later today and into very early tomorrow morning there across 80 in north and western parts of Nebraska, right along 76 in northeast Colorado, and uh, we'll get some lighter snow farther north. And snow begins to move up towards uh, 90 through the day tomorrow. By tomorrow afternoon, it's wet in the Twin Cities. That'll change over late in the day tomorrow, and at this point, it's going to be fairly light snow, maybe an inch or two in most areas. The heaviest of snow likely there in northern parts of Nebraska, and that's where we're talking about several inches. That'll also be the case again right along 76. Now the next thing we're watching is offshore in the west and that'll be coming in in the next couple of days. This is the mid-level energy associated with that and we start to see that really moving in later Monday and then Tuesday which means another big round of heavy snow for the Sierra. Now this is very good news. The reservoirs are already a good bit fuller than they were before this last big storm storm there in California and that's where we get our drinking water. You know, the huge reservoirs in the northern part of the state feed the entire state in terms of water that people use on a regular basis and they were very, very low. They were way down there, close to as low as it ever gets and now those water levels are up a good bit. Not a whole lot, but they're up a good bit and another big part of that is getting a really good snowpack in the winter months. So this is going to add to those totals and we're talking about maybe a foot or more on the high end there in the highest elevation of the Sierra. That'll also be the case uh, up in Northern California around Mount Shasta and the Klamath Mountains. Now, let's talk about going forward and what might happen the week of Christmas. Now, a lot of our models generally agree, at least right now. Now, this is a very long way out, so you got to take it with a grain of salt, but they generally agree that there could be a ridge of high pressure that builds over, say, southern Greenland, and there could be a concordant dip in the jet stream, which could mean cold air coming down into a lot of the eastern two-thirds of the country. And when you've got cold air in place, that means it's it's possible that you could be talking about some wintry weather the week of Christmas, and I know a lot of people would love to see that. Bonnie, over to you. All right, thank you so much, Carl. We appreciate it. Everyone dreaming of that white Christmas, right? I think some places are going to get it, you know, and we're also very excited about a special guest appearing on today's episode of Weather Geeks. Now, we got world-renowned animal and environmental expert Jane Goodall recently spoke to Dr. Marsha Shepard. She's seen the effects of climate change firsthand during her work with chimpanzees change the way we live. Just for a simple, ordinary person, think about the consequences of the small choices you make each day. Yes. I know my reasons for hope, the resilience of nature, yes. nature coming back given a chance, yes. animal species rescued, the human brain, all the amazing technology that will help us live in greater harmony if we use it. That's correct. And then in our own individual lives. And finally, the indomitable human spirit. That is people correct. People who tackle the impossible and won't give up. Well, I tell you, it's an inspiring message, and you can hear from Jane Goodall today on Weather Geeks. That's starting at noon Eastern. Well, up next on Weather Center Live, severe weather in the middle of December. That's true. It's a real possibility. Today, right in the middle of the country, we're keeping close eye on radar. Storms are working their way into parts of Texas and Oklahoma. We'll be right back, coming up.
currently in our area, 67 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, sunny, high 74, winds north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear skies, low 52, winds light and variable. Monday, mostly sunny skies, high 76, winds north-northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. So I live right there in the top of the roof. All that stuff that's flying in the video came from off of there. Well, today, the man who shot this terrifying video of a rare tornado in South Los Angeles is speaking out. Plus, a new series of storms targets California. How will they stack up to last week's monster storm? Listen to that sound. You know it's hail. Mid-December, we could be in for dangerous stormy weather in the central section of the country. Dallas, Oklahoma, and Wichita, three cities at risk for strong to severe thunderstorms. Tornadoes are a possibility, too. I'll have the timeline. And the storm that pounded the California coast with a lot of heavy rain is now dumping heavy snow all across the Four Corners. I'm Paul Goodlow, live in Georgetown, Colorado, home of their Christmas market. We'll talk about how this weather could be impacting this market coming up on Weather Center Live. Weather Center live on this busy Sunday morning. I'm Bonnie Schneider. And I'm Alex Wallace. The California storm hitting the plains today. Two phase storm out there for us. Got snow on one side and then the threat of severe weather on the other. That's true. And on our Weather Channel Facebook page, we're hearing from people about how they're impacted by this monster storm. Check out these stormy skies. Peoria, Arizona. Incredible pictures. Menacing, really. Luckily, no damaging weather in terms of wind, hail, lightning, or tornadoes. We'd love to hear from you. Just send us your pictures on the Facebook page or just hashtag your weekend. All right. Well, you know, our California storm behind the cold and snowy conditions there in mountain, the mountain west. Got Salt Lake City hovering with those temperatures in the mid 30s this morning. It should be getting up to about 39, 40 degrees as we head on through the day. Could see a few snow showers as well. Denver waking up into the low 30s. Good chance to deal with a bit of the rain changing to snow as we head on through our day. Absolutely. This monster storm, Alex, is working its way to the east and it's bringing snow and rain to the Rockies. That's right, Paul Goodlow. He has been following this storm as it's moved east. Yesterday he was in California. Today in Georgetown, which is just yeah. west of Denver snow. and the snow, it is coming down at a <laughs> pretty good, good. clip. Yeah. yeah. Guys, it is just dumping out here. It's been dumping for the last maybe four, almost uh, five hours here. And we're getting close to five inches of snow. We're talking an inch an hour here. And this is making this town definitely look like a postcard, perhaps even a snow globe. Uh, the plows have been out here plowing the streets. We're here because they have their 54th annual uh, holiday or Christmas market going on here. We're about, uh, say, two hours before it opens. And, I mean, this is, this is what Christmas is all about, making snowballs. Well, it's not the best snow for that because it's light and fluffy and great for skiers and snowboarders, but this is a fantastic place for skiers and snowboarders to stop on their way to ski country. You can see behind me, people are shoveling and uh, getting the snowblowers out to the sidewalks to open up some of these shops. There's a huge market here, open air market, where you can uh, buy local arts and crafts. There's so many things to do for the kids, family activities. There are uh, cowlers coming out. There's a Christmas parade as well, and even a visit by old St. Nicholas as well. A lot of mining history in this town, but I tell you what this weather is a far cry from what they had yesterday temperatures in the 50s and look at this no snow around at all but definitely if you want perhaps take that family photo for your holiday cards you got to get up here to georgetown and do it again the uh, christmas market goes until five o'clock this afternoon a great rest stop as you go by interstate 70 which is open i keep seeing the plows go back and forth it's right along the highway it's a great place to visit just a couple of days before christmas guys all right thanks so much paul welcome site for those who 
love to see the flakes fly. All right, let's talk about this a system that impacted us there on the West Coast, California, even the Pacific Northwest, now beginning to track its way a little bit farther to the east. Showed you the snow there in the Georgetown area there, uh, just west of Denver. Now you're seeing there's Denver starting to see a little bit more in the way of snow showers around there for you in uh, town. Now, we'll watch this area of low pressure. This is the culprit here and what's bringing us uh, this activity here for the day. That'll start to slide its way east as we head on through the next few. So today, bringing us the snow here, parts of Wyoming, including Casper, down into Colorado. Then as we head on into tonight, we start to see some of that snow spreading out now into the plains. Bit of a mix starts to show up as well tomorrow, getting into parts of Minnesota, generally west of Minneapolis, at least for tomorrow. Looks like Minneapolis maybe tomorrow night. You may start to switch over to a little wintry weather, but not expecting huge accumulations in the upper Midwest. Maybe one to three inches. The bigger totals will be here in the plains in no parts of Nebraska. Five to eight inches of snow possible there with lighter amounts in and around Denver. Then we have to focus in on that threat for severe storms. Could impact us today. Absolutely. Let's take a look. We're checking out Dallas, Texas, because that's where we're watching out for storms to rumble through. Look at the picture. It looks overcast, right? Um, that's, you know, a beginning of what we're expecting. If we actually get more sunshine, we could see more storms. But let's take a look and show you what's going on. Southern Plains severe threat. That's where we're monitoring today. The same storm system from California working its way eastward, impacting other parts of the country. You can see we're looking for that low to develop and it is and we'll be watching for it to move to the east. Now it's not just low pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere. We have a lot of warm moist air coming from the Gulf of Mexico and look at that flow coming in all the way from Texas, Louisiana, Oklahoma. You are feeling that moisture coming through and it, unfortunately that's only going to enhance